Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hi, hi, hi. Greetings, greetings. How's everybody? Welcome Sydney, how are you? Happy Wednesday, hope everybody's doing fine. Yes, we are back guys, at least today we can smile, we have some good news, some good news after very stressful days, yes, very stressful days beginning with the, you know, the news that JK, JJ had escaped, so we didn't know if he had escaped or he was abducted again. But today we have been reassured that uh, he's actually safe. Yes, so it's good news and welcome, welcome. I won't be here long, but join in, join in. Share as you join, invite people. Imelda, how are you? Mushipi, Mushani. Puyo, how are you? But Angela, how are you? Good to see everybody. JJ is safe. We thank God. Last night I couldn't sleep. I was so restless. I came online and I chatted with a few people saying, oh my God, you know, some of us senior citizens might have to stop politics because politics in a HH leadership is so stressful. <laughs> The stress, the politics in HH leadership has become so stressful. So some of us uh, senior citizens might have to stop, step away from politics because BP, Mwadishiva, BP, the pressure. Eh? We can't sleep. JJ is my son. If you remember the old fans, he used to be here on my page. He always has a good smile. I know he has issues going on, but who's perfect? That is my question. No one is perfect. Good to see everybody. Share, share, share as you come in. We are here to celebrate, guys. Today we can have a smile on our face. It's a good day. At least we know JJ is safe. May the good Lord continue protecting him. And may we pray, we are praying that whatever resources he needs, God will make a way for him and his family as they remain in Zambia. Because God is a God of justice and injustices on one person is an injustice to all of us. Because today it can be JJ, tomorrow it might be you or me. So we thank God guys, we are celebrating. Cheers, cheers, cheers to JJ. Stay safe, stay safe. We pray for his family that they will stay strong in this difficult journey that the husband just came abruptly. You know, life changes. They say in life, you never know what can happen. Who knew that JJ can be persecuted in such a manner? We never knew. We never knew. We never knew that JJ can be persecuted in such a manner, but we thank God that uh, he is okay. Yes. So coming to talk about the window, I'll talk a little bit about JJ's escape. And then I want to talk about what is happening in Kasemba, the gold rush in Kasemba there. We've seen horrible videos of people being killed for being in an area where gold has been discovered. And we have also seen a statement from the former sixth president, uh, His Excellency Dr. Edgar Chagalungu made a statement this morning concerning what is happening there at Kasempa in the gold rush. Yes. So uh, before I'll talk about the gold rush later, but let me talk about the JJ case. Now for this JJ case, we have questions. We are happy that uh, he has made contact and we were assured by uh, President Shuka Tayali that he is okay. So that is some good news. But we have questions because you 
no, JJ's arrests came after he was abducted. So JJ's abduction triggered his arrests and then we never got closure on who abducted JJ. We never saw the parliament here, how one of them was abducted and subsequently charged with cases from eight years ago. And the cases were reopened without fresh evidence. Then from there on, we saw the, the leaked tapes of where some senior UPND officials tried to cut a, a deal with him and JJ refused. And after JJ's refusal to cut a deal, he was then charged with more charges, aggravated robbery, and we saw him, which is non bailable offense. And we saw JJ being transferred to uh, Chipata. And uh, we know that JJ's health is not to par because of uh, the torture that he was subjected to. We know that JJ has been experiencing uh, uh, some medical issues. And we watched, um, we watched uh, the Minister of Home Affairs yesterday make a, a press briefing about JJ's uh, disappearance where the minister actually said that JJ had escaped. Now talking about JJ's escape, I want to say that in Zambia, let us be serious about Zambia police. As much as I am happy that JJ actually escaped, but what I'm, don't get me wrong, what I'm trying to say here is the Zambia police, if you have a convict or prisoner in a facility, in any room, how can you keep a prisoner or a convict in a hospital room with no burglar bars? Eh? The hospital where I'm not, now I'm just saying generally to say our police force and its operations leaves much to be desired because you cannot keep a, a prisoner in a room without burglar bars and then he escaped and then the whole top officials there from Ministry of Home Affairs, they go to look at the window where JJ escaped. Is that normal? Are we serious as a country? How can you put a prisoner in a room without a burglar bar? And when he escapes, you are shocked that he escapes? It's actually laughable. Let us be serious. Are we serious as a country? JJ case is another case because his cases were cooked up. Now imagine a, a regular criminal, a murderer has a health issue. How can you put a regular criminal in a room with no burglar bars and then when he escapes you, you are shot. You have to travel all the top officials in home affairs to go and watch that window where he jumped. Even me, I can jump. If Simone Biles, that small girl, who has who is a gold medal, whatever, she jumps like almost four meters high. You think I if Simone jump, if Simone Biles can jump like up to four meters. What about me? I'm almost six foot tall. So let's stop these jokes, Mazambia police. Let us be serious with our work. It's actually laughable and it's actually embarrassing for the whole lot of you to travel to Chipata, and then a lot of you pray singers, oh, he didn't jump through the window. Hello? From the first, second floor, even third floor, do you watch movies? Do you see how people escape in prison? For you to say, ah, we, the chatoro ke pa yapa window ali mu wele. Prison as well as digging ama tunnels. One year emba ke tunnel pa kaf. No ba ba ku become room without a a a a bag la ba. Eh? Ba ku become room no ba prison no ba di ku ba chaba tawa kaf me. You are supposed to rot in jail. Na ine we ne uti na atoro kamo anti and I can run for my life and we thank God that je je ngari atoro kapa window pa yari survivor. Let God protect him and heal him so he can live to see the day where he can tell us the whole truth, what, are, what has happened to him. This mystery of JJ is going to be resolved soon because we hear that JJ is going to come live and tell us what exactly happened to him. Yes. So, 
my point on JJ. I can't say much because now we know that he's safe. I just wanted to talk about the Zambia police and for them to be serious about their operations. You know, you can't be having convicts in a room with no bad labor. It's like well, somebody stabbed you. You know, some So let's be serious, Mazambia police. Even that, you're supposed to secure a parameter. If there is a dangerous criminal, dangerous criminal, If you really want, if you really wanted to to have JJ in custody, you would have secured this parameter. But the window, there would have been officers watching number where were the officers so we are questioning you the, 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 you are, we are questioning your capabilities by zambia police your, your operations leave much to be desired why was the parameter not secured because okay jj is a some is innocent to a point but uh, you trumped up charges on him number what if we have a criminal Let's be serious, Zambia police. police. What are they training you? Stopping the freedom of speech. But I put on a page and then they, then they, they also clamp my reach. So, I'm going to share. I'm going to share. I'm share. I'm going to group WhatsApp, Facebook pages. I want to buy you a village ticket. So, I'm going to share what JJ to have for Because we are seeing, we know he's safe. I'm a BP in a way that the law will have a peaceful day. Yes. Have a peaceful day to the peaceful night, all of us mothers. Charity to Kariba. My chef of Yash. Charity to Kariba. So it's good news, Mwandin. We thank God. Hey, Mwandin. Nene wine nganachishana no mbanarashana. I'm going to dance off camera mu celebrate. Jejo kwali no kumpe perena. Let God's angels protect him and protect his loved ones. Christa Kuriash Yabuka Semba. What is going on in Kasempa there? Eh? So Amazonians, we have to find a path to mafia. Why is Zambia police using live ammunition? Why? This is the most barbaric government ever. Shamona. On their land, which is criminal. Who is of authorizing like a popular Kulala Sava and Futiamana Pulet? Who you are pressing a machine would not end up a pen and bring proof at your moon to nap on a machine. Tell me, I'm a big director, circulates for social media. Some of you are for no reason. That's when your brain will start working. Because you want to Go on Edgar page and read the statement over time. Don't just come on a page. You want to put me in some way. Some people are in the front page yet. But on the land, I talk about things which are already circulating on the social media. To the land, they can't put it. I'm a foreigner. See, ever they want to favor me? When we are in the promise to give us the government, some government, some youth will say, "We have a pair of mining licenses." No, but today, when I'm a youth, will say, "What if we are Papa Mama in Rosawa like?" Is it fair? It's not 
sea. It is not fair that Zambians should die on their minerals. And I'm a foreigner, never equal the favor. This has to be fixed. It has to be fixed. Hello, by UPND, this is your downfall. Ishimilopa, you, 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 Ishimilopa, Shomlesu, Yamlesu, Mia Zambian blood to appease Abasu, Ama investors of Omulenda. You will, the day of reckoning is coming. Reckoning is coming, yes. So, uh, if you if blood, the blood that is being shed because of your greediness, the day of reckoning is coming. We are mothers, we are crying, we can't be seeing our youths die because they went to a mine to try and earn a living on their own land. And you take this land and you sell it to my Chinese, na Malibanese, na Navalan. We are crying. We are crying. Na chiposto luchero chimbo chamanilo from ba mama. Ona siwa yupi endi muri bantu ba shani. Muna fa bantu ba mbe kuri enshomba. Kuma mai ni kuri. And God is king. Which country on earth where every day you go? every year we god is blessing us with new minerals new minds every year how many countries on earth how many countries on earth where we, the, the countries are discovering new minerals almost every year in zambia But instead of this government finding a way where all Zambians benefit, upper the gold or upper the minerals, we are falling in our shoes. Every time we look over, we see where we are buying gold. 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 And unfortunately, some people are paying with their lives. For them to, to actually respect the people who put them there, you know. What is it going to take for UPND to start respecting their voters to stop this nonsense of killing people? It's in every conflict in you in, in UPND is ending with bloodshed or barbaric act. Don't they know? Resolve conflicts so that there is an amicable resolution. Now we are waiting. We are waiting to hear the whole story from JJ. He's going to tell us. JJ, because they, I don't know, God has saved JJ's life for. I don't know. His time is not done on earth, but we thank God that JJ is safe where he is, and we pray that he's okay enough. Even if he doesn't come on camera, he can even issue a statement, an audio, and uh, release to the public so that we can be at peace. Because this matter has to be put to, to bed. We are saying that Kasseli was okay during PF. We are trying to make Zambia a better country. We can't keep referring to PF because that's.
that's why we changed from PF to UPND. And now the, or the UPND, they are doing the same as PF. So we have to keep trying until we find something that works. In life, always have a plan B, C, D, until Z, you don't give up. We are not going to give up because PF did the same and now UPND are doing the same. We have to keep going until we find a solution to Zambia's problem. And Zambia's problem is bad leadership and also a poverty of the people. So we have to keep going until we find a solution for Zambia. Because PF did this, it does not give the right for UPND to do the same. And that's why we are saying that 2026, we have to change. We have to keep trying. You people, the young people, like I always say, be involved in politics and change Zambia. So you live a better country for your children and your grandchildren. You know? The youth, you are 70% of the population. So you are the you are the majority of the voters too. Yes, imagine when Mufrina the boy died and we have heard nothing about it. Short dead in cold blood. They are killing people's uh, children. What Fina Mafia Pang? So that is that, guys. I just came to. I had a lot to say, but the situation changed because JJ is alive. So we have to hold our horses and wait to hear what. Then we are just have to wait for the story to unfold. Yeah. That is all I can say. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you like my content and you don't follow me, follow me, like and share my page. And uh, God bless Zambia. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next few days. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. That's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.